The Friends Experience is in town and it features several nostalgia packed rooms from Monica's Kitchen to Central Perk and you got to check it out. Yes, I did girl and I am an Uber Friends fan. Okay, so I had the chance to check it out and I really got to relive so many wonderful iconic moments from this show. Let's take a look. There's no way you don't know where I am. This is the one with the Friends Experience. Hey, Stacy. Hi, welcome to Monica's Kitchen. Oh my gosh. It really feels like I'm here. Yeah, that was our goal. We wanted people to feel like they could step inside the world of Friends and really feel like they're inside the sets and the favorite moments from the show. Now, I, as an Uber Friends fan, know that this is just absolutely the coolest, but why is this so special for any level of fan? I think it's so special because the, the show is so important and such a big part of pop culture. It's been around for 29 years now, which is kind of crazy to think about. And for, you know, fans of all levels, it's the opportunity for them to come and sort of experience the show in a way they've never had the opportunity to do it before. And I think what is really fun is the lengths that you guys went to to make it look and feel authentic. So let's check it out. Yes, let's. Blast. Thank you so much for inviting for Studio coming. 13 here. Yeah, it's been amazing. Uh, and Central Perk, beautiful way to end this entire experience. But tell me, how can people come and visit? They can uh, go to our website, which is friendstheexperience.com, and buy tickets. We do timed ticketed entry. And so you can pick your day, pick your time, and come and see us. And I do know that, I mean, it's still, it's post-pandemic times, but I do love the care that you guys took to make sure that people felt safe, making sure this place is Monica clean. Yes, we always say not just clean, it's Monica clean. <laughs> so talk to me about what some of your favorite parts of the experience are. Yeah, well, this is one of them, obviously. Yeah. You know, every episode had a scene in Central Park, so it's always fun to be here and check out this space. Um, I'm, you know, Monica's Kitchen is always a favorite. You know, as you mentioned, it just feels like home. Um, and then sitting in those recliners, Joey and Chandler style, and you know, kicking how you back. doing, kicking back. Yeah, <laughs> and you have the fountain and the couch. I mean, I feel like this is a very Instagrammable too. Yes, it's very Instagrammable, but it's also a little bit of a museum. So for the more hardcore fans, there's all kinds of, you know, little tidbits of information that they probably didn't know before that they can find out here. Yes, the letter. You have the letter. Front and back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and people will have the opportunity to read it. Is it the real letter? It is. It's the real letter in the real handwriting. I love that. And I think one of the things that is most fun, especially for people who are major fans, is some of the costuming that you have here. A lot of them are recreations, but talk to me about all that extra information that fans will be able to see. Yeah, one of my favorites is an interview with Deborah McGuire, who is the costume designer for the show, and she talks about how she really developed their personalities through their style and really thoughtful about their color palettes and what they wore. Um, so I think that's one to definitely check out for the big fans. Awesome. So tell me uh, how much cost to come and how long you guys are here. So tickets start at $32 and we will be here through April. Fantastic. The Friends experience. Absolutely love it. Now I do have a toughie for you. Okay, are you oh, ready? No. So there are people like me who are major fans and there are people who like have casually watched mm -hmm. the show. Why does this work for either one? I think because it, everyone wants to be on the set of a television show. And so I think this has that appeal where you feel like you're on the set. And you know, I feel like everyone's a Friends fan if they're really honest. Absolutely. And you guys actually actually have some cool merch. Tell me about that. Yeah, so we have a store that is open to the public, so if you don't have a ticket, you can still come by and check it out, and we've got some limited edition exclusive merchandise only available at the Friends Experience. Yes, I took a peek. There is so much fun stuff, guys, so definitely a must-do in Seattle, especially if you love Friends, and who doesn't, really? Thank you so much for showing me around Thanks today, for Stacey. All right, gotta keep looking.
That looked like <laughs> so much fun. I have such FOMO right now. Was that the best ever? It was the best, but I definitely felt like a nerd because they have every haircut that Jennifer Aniston ever wore, <laughs> you know, throughout the whole series of Friends. And I realized I've cut my hair like Jennifer Aniston three different times in my life. Hey, the original influencer. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> uh, the Friends Experience will be in Seattle through the end of April. Tickets again start at $32, and we have all that info for you on our website, fox13seattle.com slash studio13live.